Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Blu-ray 3D edition of Scream Factor's release of Friday the 13th Part 3. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Movie Guy 365. Okay, Friday the 13th, part three in 3D, as released as part of the Scream Factory Shout Factory Friday the 13th collection, which is available on their website and of course play other places like Amazon and Best Buy. Now, as far as the movie itself goes, this would probably be in my top five of best Friday the 13th films. It is, of course, where Jason gets his infamous hockey mask. And there are other things that really enjoy, you know, the characters are, you know, pretty memorable here. And there's a lot of great visual gags that are part of the 3D experience. Of course, we had the old-fashioned 3D using the flimsy glasses, but now this has been uh, completely converted into more of a modern 3D image, and it's the first time available on the Blu-ray home format. So I'm excited to talk about the picture quality there. All right, before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we have Friday the 13th, part three in 3D. Uh, this is from the Screen Factory Shot Factory collection. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link that unboxing video of the entire collection in the comment section if you want to check that out. Uh, but, you know, for new viewers, let's check this out. Friday the 13th, Part 3 3D. And the back cover and the spine. And both the 2D and 3D version are on one disc. So there's a reversible cover art there. So, all right. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D has a 235 aspect ratio and it was also provided with a new 4K scan over on the Blu-ray. Now the picture quality definitely benefits from this 4K scan, which I'll dive into more in a moment. But first, Screen Factory, Shot Factory is aware of an error on the mastering of this disc. The 3D title sequence has a little bit of wonkiness to it and they have since issued a recall program. Uh, if you go to their website, all the details are provided there. As of right now, this is the uncorrected disc, so my review is going to pertain for that version only. Now, for the rest of the picture quality here, I think it looks pretty sharp. Now, as a previous viewer of the old way of the 3D version, I think definitely there's a lot of layering, depth, and pop-outs that really work here utilizing modern Blu-ray 3D technology. It looks really good. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Now, the visual gags are plenty here. They're sprinkled throughout the film, which look a little goofy in the 2D version, but I think for the most part, they do work, some more so than others. Uh, I would say that, you know, the, mostly the kills themselves definitely benefit there, and they really, you know, jump out at your face, and they do a pretty good job at doing so. Uh, I will say that some of the other things like, you know, there's a, a sequence with juggling also look really well done and other factors for the most part really work here uh, utilizing the 3D technology. I would say depth also gets a nice bump up here. You know, when the campers are walking around and they look at, you look at the foreground and the background comparatively, they look good, they look very layered and it really pulls you into the movie and it has a nice dimension and it has a good look to it. Now, I will say that as far as weaknesses go, some of the, the gags don't work. And I think it's more or less the source material, but I think for the most part, it does a fine job conveying that 3D immersive feeling. If you have a nice 3D setup, I think you're gonna be very pulled in visually. And you know, film grain also here looks very appropriate. It's not heavy handed. And I think that's more or less the benefit of the 4K scan. So for if you're watching it for that visual acuity, I think you'll be very pleased here. The Blu-ray 3D of Friday the 13th Part 3 looks really good, and I think Screen Factory Shop Factory did a great job. For the audio presentation, Friday the 13th Part 3 has a DTS 5.1 audio mix, and from what I can tell, it's pretty identical to the previous 5.1 on other releases. It's a very front-heavy type of audio presentation. It sounds very good. You know, everything when Jason's up front, it's, you know, it's very heavy and it sounds good. And there's a lot of strength into those front channels. You know, your center, your fronts, and the LFE, I think, are particularly strong. Now, when it comes to the immersive elements, you know, the, the background noises, the ambience, 
it's okay. It's fairly inconsistent. For the most part, you're going to be really kind of focused up front, and there isn't a whole lot. I would have liked to have heard more in the rear speakers department. I think we probably would have had a little bit more of a, it just wrapped up that whole immersive feeling with the 3D and really pull you in, but unfortunately, it's pretty much front heavy. And But for what we get, it sounds good. There's a lot going on, especially with the music and the, you know, the attacks. And any kind, anytime Jason's on screen, it really sounds good. And, you know, for the, what we get here, the 5.1 is, it's an okay audio mix. For the Friday the 13th Part 3 3D Blu-ray picture quality, I'm going to give this one a solid B+. I think the new stereoscopic 3D picture really does wonders over the Anaglyph 3D from previous versions, and it just looks good. It adds a lot of layering, there's a lot of pop-outs that are very appropriate, and a lot of most of the gags do work more so than they don't, and just the dimensional depth also really comes into play here, and I think you'll be very pleased with this copy. For the audio presentation, I'm going to give this one a C+. It's an okay audio mix. It's nothing that we haven't heard before. Uh, it's pretty front heavy, a little bit of ambience sprinkled throughout, but it's not particularly well defined. But for what we get when the action is up front and center, it definitely works. So that is my review of Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D from Screen Factory Shot Factory. Let me know in the comment section below if you picked up the collection and what did you think of the 3D presentation of the movie. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.